Hello, I'm Aaron, and this is how you make a plastanium factory in Mindustry. Of course, to make plastanium, you're going to need your com plastanium compressor. You're going to need your titanium, and you're going to need your oil. And of course, power. And that's all there is to it. But let's say you wanted a more compact design. Here is my super compact design that runs five and a half plastanium compressors. I'm going to show you how to build it right now. Put down your six plastanium compressors. You don't have to put this many. It's completely tileable. You can put as many or as few as you want. But in this case, I'm doing six because that's the perfect amount for one line of liquid input and one line of titanium input. On the left, for me, it's the left. You can mirror this, of course. Put the routers. This left side right here can be shifted up or down one. It doesn't matter. If you don't want to have one extra conduit here, you can take this and move it down one like that. Next, we need to work on the titanium input and the output coming out. Uh, so this is going to be the titanium input like this. And I use overflow gates. You can use routers if you want. But I think overflow gates are more efficient and make it easier to tell what's going on. So it will fill each machine up one by one. Now let's go ahead and put the power. I like to put mine here and here because you're not going to use these spots and it's just a little more compact that way. And finally, we need the outputs to come out or they're all going to jam up like this. So I use bridge conveyors because they can take inputs from any direction, except for, as you can see, this last one's orange, even though these ones were orange right here and turned green. The reason the last one is orange is because the final bridge conveyor is only an output. It cannot take inputs. So we just have to add one more at the end. Boom, I put item void and it will run five of these full time and the last one will run about half the time. Now for this design. The main difference between these two designs is the inputs are on the same side here, whereas over here, we have an input and an output on the same side, and the inputs are on opposite sides. The benefit of this is it's more compact. The benefit of this is the inputs come on the same sides. So I'll go ahead and show you how to build this one. It's the same thing. It has the same efficiency. Put down your six compressors, but you're going to want to put your conduits in. The reason you can't do it the same as over here is because you need a space to put the item in on this side, right? Uh, of course, there's no space here. So we made a space like this. Then we're just going to use routers since there's no overflow gates for fluid. That's the oil done. Next, we need titanium to go in here. So once again, we're going to take advantage of bridge conveyors. Now, you can actually swap these conduits to regular conveyors and do the fluid on this side, but Bridge conveyors are way cheaper than bridge conduits, so I prefer to do it this way. Bridge conduits are quite expensive. Unfortunately, it can't be the same level of compactness because this conveyor will eat all of the items, right? See, as you can see, they all go in here. This one's full, the bridge conveyor, but as you can see, nothing's coming out. So we have to move this one to the left, unfortunately. It's not a great big deal, though, as long as this benefits you to have it separated like this so you fill the conveyors here and then overflow gates again and boom finally you need the output and i'll put an item void here actually finally you need to put the power i like that about this design is there's little holes here to put the power sources and there you go it's the same efficiency five of these will run full time both of these designs are tileable so you can take this and you can a uh, go ahead and extend it out Unfortunately, only five or six of them will run unless you put more inputs, which you can do. You can put more inputs through these overflow gates. Uh, of course, you can also turn them into routers because overflow gates output to the side when the thing in front of them is full, which might not be the behavior you want here. Let's see how many run like this. So it looks like with two lines of input, you get about, oh wait, the oil's draining slowly. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's about right. So two lines of titanium input allows you to run this whole thing full time, except for these last two, which get blocked up because there's just so much damn plastanium on there. And you can do, of course, do the same thing with this design. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, and I hope it was helpful to you.